Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Spiro, Interim President of Caston University, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Convocation 2020. Convocation is a time-honored ritual in which we all gather together at the beginning of the semester to welcome everyone and officially launch the new academic year. Convocation comes from the Latin root, convocatus, meaning 15-minute video that costs nothing to produce and takes the place of a really expensive barbecue. You know, we began planning for the semester back in March, and we've taken a long and winding road to get to this point. Along the way, our amazing faculty and staff and coaches and alums and fantastic custodians have put in thousands of hours making plans, developing policies, ordering equipment, reconfiguring the campus, and going through many hours of training so that we can continue to offer our students a first-class education. Uh, some salient facts, we have about 1,800 students this semester. 350 of them are living in the residence halls. The rest are learning virtually. We have 450 faculty and staff, including three new full-time faculty, uh, Dr. Patricia, Dr. Patricia Brahm in criminal justice, Professor Angela Sillers in education, and Dr. Andrea Corcoran in biology. I know you're all really going to love our three new additions. So thank you to our students for putting your trust in us. And thank you to all the Spartans who made this semester possible. And thank you to everyone who continues to do the right thing and wears your mask, even when nobody is looking. And now it is my honor to introduce the beloved president of the Faculty Assembly, Dr. Andre Flesch. Thank you, President Spiro, for that kind introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm here outside Leavenworth Hall on a beautiful late summer day. It's my honor to give this unique virtual opening to what is a very unique academic semester, to say the least. I'd like to start by offering a warm welcome to our interim president, Dr. Jonathan Spiro. As you know, Dr. Spiro is a talented educator, scholar, and administrator. He needs no introduction here at Castleton, but he richly deserves our thanks. But Dr. Spiro stepped up to lead in perhaps the most challenging time imaginable, and I know we're in good hands. It's also my pleasure to welcome the entire Spartan community to campus, wherever in the world you might be. I have to admit, it's hard not to be together. As we all know, this university prides itself on the Castleton Way, which includes close personal relationships, student-faculty interaction, and the support of a caring community. I'm happy to say that we're still li living and working by those commitments. I'd like to celebrate what our entire community has achieved together in preparation for this unprecedented semester. Faculty members, administrators, and staff worked tireless tirelessly through the summer to reopen our campus. Many of our professors met weekly in working groups to create the best remote classes possible. Our facility staff, as you see, has kept the campus beautiful uh, and has worked uh, to reconfigure many of our academic buildings. Our success has demonstrated the value of our community. As my students in early U.S. history know, it's a long-standing New England tradition to find lessons in the face of adversity. The challenges we faced this year have shown us our strength when we work together and also remind us of the things we sometimes forget to appreciate when we're all here in person. I've been working from my office as much as possible uh, and trying to take walks on campus to stay connected. Every day I've called to mind great conversations I've had with colleagues and students, exciting athletic events I've attended, and art and theater productions I've enjoyed. I've come away more determined than ever to take advantage of everything our university has to offer. I hope you feel the same way. Thank you and have a great year. Hi, my name is Adam Murray. I am a sophomore political science student here at Castleton. I'm currently VP of our Campus Activities Board of SGA. And in short, 
SGA is broken up into three different parts. There is Congress, CAB, and Port. Congress is we work together to make sure your life here on campus gets improved in any way possible. CAB is we hold events for you every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday so you can enjoy your life here at um, Castleton. And CORE is basically a group of students that will handle conduct issues. Um, if I have to pick one thing that I love about Castleton the most, it has to be the people that I've met. Um, as corny as it is, they are my family. Um, I didn't expect to bond with people as closely and as fast as I did here at Castleton, but the small knit community that we have built here um, really just, it, it, that's going to happen by design, um, or so that's how I believe it and see it. Um, in saying that, one piece of advice that I can give any freshman or anybody who goes here is get involved, um, self-plug, join CAB, join Congress. Um, it's the easiest way to get involved because there's so many different types of people you're bound to meet somebody that you click with. But if you're not into that, you can join any of your academic programs, you can get a work-study job. There, there's countless ways to get involved on campus and you are bound to meet at least one person that you really click with if you get involved and it's always worth a shot. Um, you're not legally bound to any club, so try different things out. Branch out, meet different people. Um, I, it's really just a great campus and I truly believe that you will meet so many amazing people here and they will be in your life forever. So, um, welcome to Castleton. Um, I hope you have a wonderful time here. Normally, at the end of convocation, I invite all of you up here to the president's backyard for an outdoor luau. We have fancy hors d'oeuvres, we serve tropical drinks, and right over there, Molly, can you zoom in over there? Right over there, we roast a theater professor over hot coals on a turning spit. Unfortunately, this year, the Spartan Pledge prohibits eating faculty with tenure. So, in lieu of the traditional barbecue, we'll end today with a brief video that reminds us why we all love Castleton. High achieving doesn't have to just be scores. I'm a very competitive person, both academically and out of school. If you're someone with a serious passion for something and a skill set, we'll make sure you can get there. Our academic programs are rigorous. They'll reach whatever bar you set. I set the bar very high. They study with like-minded students. They have the opportunity to live together in themed housing in the residence halls. They have the opportunity to um, be part of our honors council. I was the vice president of academics in the Student Government Association. The president of our science association. The vice president of the Phi Eta Sigma National Honor Society. We also have an obligation to excite our students to move further than they thought they could and that is PhD, Masters, Research, Academia. They come here and they take their game to the next level as well. well. I wouldn't have thought that I would be able to accomplish all the things that I've done. I've gotten national awards, I've presented at conferences, I've gone to Washington, D.C. So we go to the Mojave Desert, we go to Iceland. Professors will actually take you to a certain place to practice. They are working at Dartmouth, at UVM, at Cornell. They've worked at the Smithsonian in Panama. Where would you get to do that somewhere else? And I think the highlight of my time here has been my involvement with independent research. It was the first time I actually applied what I'd learned in my intro level classes to a lab setting. All the work that gets done in our research labs are done by our undergraduate students. That machine over there, that's actually what they're using right now to test coronavirus. So we have all of the things here, and because we're small, those high achieving students get to be the graduate student. They're getting education that is cutting edge. They're getting experience in the labs that's cutting edge. In a bigger school with bigger resources, actually you wouldn't be the one that got to do all those things. That would be someone above you. Our faculty are a perfect combination because they're excellent teachers. We work a lot beyond our prescribed hours. I'm always reaching out to current students, to new students, to alumni, not because I'm trying to check off boxes that I'm required to do. It's things I'm passionate about doing because I do believe in Castleton.
business chairman Peg Richards. Like she encouraged me a lot to achieve more goals. We brought in Sue Generazzo. She's the chair of the math department. The way she described mathematics was in a way that I'd never seen before. And I tell her, you created a spark in me. I'd have to say Dr. Garcia. He's been more than a professor. He's been an amazing mentor. The faculty that we have have been trained at some of the top institutions in the country. I was lucky enough to get a Fulbright Scholar Award, but I want to be a normal person that is accessible, that you can ask whatever the silly question is as a student and feel safe and comfortable, but also be able to ask that question of someone who got to delve in a world that you might not imagine yourself in. And growth is not easy. If a true student who's here to challenge themselves through that knows that they're going to stumble, learn from that, and rework what it is that failed them to begin with. The Castleton way is being genuine with those around you. It's looking someone in the eye and seeing that. Together we can change the world, whether it is human rights or the family business. Castleton is the foundation to the upcoming leaders, to the upcoming world changes. It's the willingness to put yourself out there because you know it's safe, because people care. You're connecting through a place that's a lot deeper. You're creating change makers, heroes, warriors. You're creating intelligent and aspirational individuals. It represents our students. It reflects our corporate culture. It reflects our mission as a public university. It's, it reflects our engagement with a community. It's more than just a slogan. It's what our students have come to both reflect and who we as an institution reflect.